Friday was the best day of my life because, well, first off, I'll start at the beginning. We uh, went to, we went on the metro and we, who did we lose? We lost half of our group on the metro. Yeah. Uh, they went one stop too far, so they so had to we had get to off and then get back on the opposite train. I think it was Miss, and then was it Miss Scott? Or Miss, no, it was Miss Drummond. And then we had to get on another train and then we had to get off, we got on, off on archives. No, at archives, I'm sick. and we went to the museum. We at the museum. Yeah, <laughs> Museum's day. And then we headed to the convention center to go to the trade show. I spell Barack. Really? You don't know how to spell Barack? <laughs> Shoot, Carolyn knocked the president over. <laughs> Okay, so so there's this thing called a keynote at NSPA where like they have a super cool person come and like talk to us and answer questions. And this year it was Bob Woodward, who like if you don't know you you should know. Um, Look him up. Google him. He was a part of the like breaking the Watergate scandal in the he, '70s. He was pretty cool. He basically half-handedly took down the president. So yeah, it's pretty dank. So he talked to us. He's way funnier than I thought he would be, and like way like quicker on his feet than I thought he would be. Stage, and I'm from St. Teresa's Academy, and my question is, what is your biggest regret from your career? Oh, my biggest, uh, you don't want to get me going. <laughs> it's pretty cool, and, um, so we have so, these shirts also. Yeah, no, okay. Yeah, okay. She's, so she's, she's turn around. Okay. It's the, it says <laughs> STA and SPA 2014 on the front, and then on the back, why am I connected to this? It says, his, here. Journalism changes history. So after he like gave a speech and answered questions, we if you had like a book or something, go you, you could go it. sign yeah. it. Like wait in line to go sign it. We thought we were we weren't gonna make it, but we did. But then we made it. And so like we get up there and we're like getting ready to sign our books. And like we have these shirts on all of us. And so, <laughs> so like he oh, sees them and he's like, oh my god, they're so cool. <laughs> so he was like, why don't you guys come back here and we can take a picture. And like they had told everybody that like he doesn't have time to take pictures with people. So this was really cool. So after he was done signing everybody's books, we went around and we got to go behind and like take a picture with him. Okay. So we he, he, I asked us, telling stories, he so. asked us like right as we got up there if after he had seen, seen shirts, if we had bought him a shirt. But we were like, oh, that's awkward. No, we didn't. Because like who would have thought of that. But we were thinking, and then we're, Helen Wheatley is like, wait, guys, I have a large on. And so we forced Helen Wheatley to take off her shirt in the middle of the convention center so that we could give it to Bob Woodward so that he could have a copy of our shirt. Reporting live from Washington, D.C. That's my story. Have a good night.